Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this beef and broccoli sauce. Now you can pair this with anything of your choice or eat it as it is. I hope you enjoy it. Now my name is Ifen. If you're new here, you're welcome. For the list of ingredients, I've got my beef, my soy sauce, oyster sauce, cornstarch, sesame seed oil, spring onions, ginger and garlic paste, and my broccoli. Again, I start by slicing the beef. Now when slicing the beef, I make sure that it's kind of thin so that it can cook evenly and fast. Because this sauce is one that doesn't take so long to cook, so you don't want the um, beef to be thick if it's not going to cook on time. That is done. I put it in a bowl and I'm going to be marinating the beef with my fresh ginger and garlic paste and then a part of the sesame seed oil. I'm just going to mix it and then I'm going to leave it set it aside to marinate for a while while I move on to other things. Just before I move things to the cooker, in a cup, I'm going to be mixing all the sauces together. Now, this is just for it to mix evenly. And then I'm going to add the cornstarch and mix it as well. For this recipe, I used olive oil, but any cooking oil aside palm oil would do. Once I put it in my wok, I'm going to be adding the beef. And then I'm just going to spread it out so you can um, cook evenly now you should bear in mind that the wok heats up really fast so you want the temperature of your cooker to be really low once that is done i just keep stirring it until it's cooked for a while as the beef continues to cook slowly you'd notice the juice of the beef begins to come out when you can notice this and you can see that the beef is cooked to an excellent then I'm going to be adding the sauce mixture that I mixed earlier. I'm just going to add it to the beef and then I'm going to stir it. To stir in it, I don't leave it for too long. I'm going to be adding the spring onions, the chopped spring onions, and then I'm going to stir it further. By now, the beef is already totally cooked. When making this sauce, you could decide to leave it as thick as it is, or you could decide to thin it out. And for me, I decided to thin it out because I wanted to pair it with rice and pasta, and I wanted it to be a little bit soupy. So I thin it out with a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to allow it to cook for a bit. After a few minutes, I then add the broccoli. Now once you've added your vegetable to cooking, like you don't need to leave it on the cooker for too long anymore because um, vegetables, if it's overcooked, it's really not nice. Yeah, and you lose most of the nutrients in it. So yeah. So after adding the broccoli, I just stir it and I'm not gonna leave it on the cooker for too long after this. I'm just gonna allow it to cook for two minutes after which I'm gonna take it off the cooker. Now after two minutes, just look at how beautiful this works, isn't it? It's really, really delicious. I'm so sure you want to try this out. When serving this dish, I love to top it with some sesame seed, but that's totally optional. You can leave it out if you don't want to. Now, I served this um, sauce with some bold white rice and it was really, really nice. Now, this is how I make my beef and broccoli sauce. I really do hope you try it out. Please let me know what you think if you do. And you can also leave a comment and a question if you have one. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so you would receive the alerts once I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.